Well, my name is uh, Lorenzo Booker, and I'm from uh, Port Wayne, California. I currently live in Oxnard, but uh, I'm mostly known around here because I was a halfway decent football player. <laughs> I went to Oxnard High School, and I ended up transferring because my grades weren't really what they needed to be, and my mom was a, uh, a living nurse, so there were times where she couldn't really come home at night. And so uh, my mentor, you know, he's really like a father figure to me, his name was Curtis, and he was very involved to help raise me on that end. And so um, the, him and my mom thought it was a good idea for me to transfer to a private school. And so as I went there, uh, not only was it better for me academically, but I ended up uh, really doing some special things there in terms of football. I was extremely fortunate to always be in an environment that was conducive to me succeeding in whatever it was that I was trying to achieve. And it really started for me, honestly, at the, at the YMCA. And I learned there first, you know, just how being around good people is, is detrimental you know, to your success. What Curtis always taught me was just to never be satisfied, and in a good way. And so no matter how many touchdowns, no matter how many yards I had, I was always working. And I was always felt like I needed to outdo myself. So I ended up choosing Florida State. You know, it was one of the best decisions I ever made. Not many people can say that they actually got to go to the school that they grew up idolizing. Ended up being drafted in the third round to the Dolphins and, uh, you know, had a successful pro career, if I, if, you know, if I say so myself. First time I ever went to Magic Mountain was with the Y. First time I ever got a chance to go to Disneyland was with the Y. You know, I got a chance to go swimming. All of those different things that you would like to do on vacations in summer that I, I got a chance to do because of, of the Y. We had our first football camp a year ago, and 180 kids showed up. And we did it at the Y. I mean, what other place would we do it? We could have done it anywhere, but we chose the Y. There's no better model in terms of giving back, and to especially children, to me, than the YMCA. I'm extremely blessed and grateful that I was always around people that always wanted the best for me, and it shaped who I am today.